What's up, Raging Nation? This is Alex Yu, and you're watching the Raging Nation Toy Show. This is just a web series where we talk about toys and collectibles that matter to me. This is episode number 69. And I've seen Transformers the last night four times. And this is the best Transformers film yet. So, if we're going to have the best Transformers film out there, we got to have an epic toy hunt video. That's what I'm going to do for you guys. This video is for you. I haven't done toy hunt videos in years i've been reading all the comments people have been saying like i miss your toy hunts when are you going to do another toy hunt well we're doing it today we're going to hit up so many different walmarts and toys r us's because we're here in canada we got toys r us's and uh we're just going to go around and see what's available for transformers rise of the beast now i'm looking specifically for the studio series line so um there's the rc um freezer core class for deluxes we got uh bumblebee and air razor uh, for Voyager, we got um, Cheetor and Battle Trap out. And finally, Scourge is in the leader class. And I don't know what else is out after that, but uh, that's what we got. So we're going to look for those. We're going to check them off the list. And I just really want to show you what is available here, right here in Vancouver. We're going to hit up like different Toys R Us and Walmarts in different cities in the greater Vancouver, Lower Mainland. And I just want to share with you guys what is available. So hopefully we can pick up everything that we mentioned. Okay, so let's go check it out. First stop, we are at the Walmart in um, in Burnaby, and rather in Lougheed. Okay, so let's check it out. It's actually been a while, and uh, I actually forgot where the toy section was because I haven't done a, a toy hunt in a very very long time. But I think I'm going in the right direction. I think we're here. Yep. We got toys here. Is this the right section? Let's see. Minecraft. Oh, here it is. No, sorry. Those are Mechasaurs. <laughs> I was definitely close. Where are they? Where are the Transformers? Not here. Not here. Is it over here? No, this is nothing but Legos. I'm in the action figure aisle, but I don't see any Transformers. There better be some. Let's check the other side of this. Come on, we got Super Soakers. We got, oh, there they are. I see them, I see them. Okay. Whoa, this is a pretty sweet section. So, oh, let's check this out. Let's see what's available. Scourge in this, um, what is this weird series? This is these, the, the four-in-one changers. <laughs> this is, oops. <laughs> Always making a mess. This is, oops, okay. Cheetor, Bumblebee. These look kind of weird. Two in one changers. What do we got here? That's Batman. Oh, there's a Studio Series Fallen. Wow. I haven't actually held this before because I didn't order this one. That's pretty cool that they still have that. What else we got? So, okay, got 86 Ironhide. Got 90 Galvatron, Not another 90 Galvatron. Where's all the, uh... oh, here we go. All right, we can check this off the list. So we got um, Bumblebee, Bumblebee and Air Razor. Yep, all Air Razor. Oh, wow, peg warmers. So at least you know that you can get um, Air Razor and Bumblebees. These are not hard to find. Got all Spark stuff. We got uh, Beast Alliance. Beast Alliance uh, Battle Changers. Let's see, what are these about? Oh, they just like flip and change really easily. Uh, what else? Oh, this uh, Beast Alliance Rhinox from Transformers Rise of Beast. There's a Cheetor. What's this one? This Alligator? <laughs> Skull Cringer. Okay, so this is what we got. We got these two. So we can check this off the list. You know what? I kind of want this. Okay, we are now off to our next stop. We are going to Coquitlam Toys R Us. So here we go. Here we are at the second destination, Toys R Us in Coquitlam. Hopefully we find some Voyager classes or a leader class scourge. It's actually kind of cool walking into 
a Toys R Us store. Haven't done this in a while. Where are the robots in disguise? <laughs> Must be around here somewhere. We should be close. I think it's over here. Could it be here? Ooh, Star Wars. Jurassic World. Is it here? Look, I feel like it should be here. I think it's around the corner. Still haven't seen it yet. Where could it be? What? Where's the Transformers? Where are the Transformers? This is crazy. I'm feeling a little bit concerned here. What? <laughs> this is the only Transformer I see. <laughs> okay, they gotta keep their Transformers in a different section. Transformers Core Class Exosuit. Spike Wit Wiki Ravage. Where's the new stuff? Oop, we got some uh, more of this Beast Line stuff. We got uh, Rise of the Beast Prime Blaster. Oh, look at these. These are the uh, Beast Lions. here we have a transforming bumblebee mask <laughs> wow the mask actually transforms into bumblebee or at least a weird version of him what's this one smash changers okay we got more old stuff 86 rc any new stuff Buzzworthy Bumblebee. What is this weird series? I almost thought that was Barricade. I really almost thought that was Barricade because of the colors. Uh, more 86 stuff, but no Rise of the Beast Studio series. Nope, nothing to be found. What else do we have here? RC, RC, RC. And we're off to the second location. That would be the Queensboro Walmart in New West. So it was a little bit disappointing to know that uh, the Coquitlam Toys R Us didn't have anything, but we still got a lot of places to visit. Third stop, Walmart Supercenter at Queensboro Landing, New Westminster. This Walmart is freaking huge. They don't call it a Walmart Supercenter for nothing. I'm just so surprised how massive it is. It's the size of Metroplex. Oh, check it out. Are these mainline Transformers? Oh yeah, they are. This is the mainline Optimus Primal. I've never seen this before, at least not in person. Check that out. That's actually pretty cool. But the studio series is going to be a leader class, so I should hold off on that. This is a Voyager class for the main line. What else do we got here? Oh, it's the uh, main line Optimus Prime, also Voyager class. That's pretty awesome. That actually looks better in person. Let's see what else they got. What is this? Optimus Primal Smash Changer. This is a pretty sweet display. Is there anything else? We got Lego on this side. We got balls on the other side. We're in the toys section. Uh, that's the pink aisle. That is the puzzle aisle. Mm, don't see anything so far. Maybe that's all the Transformers there is. If this Walmart is anything like the other Walmart that I went to, the Transformers should be by the Hot Wheels, but it's not here. 
All right, let's check the rest of this action figure out. Oh, here they are. There's a lot of stuff here. But is there what we're looking for? Okay, so it's just a small section here. Got, ooh, we got this uh, Thundercracker from the movie. Oops, <laughs> crap. Okay, okay, let's uh, put that back. Got more Hound. Ooh, Studio Series. Um, that's the, uh, that is the sweep. Okay, so what do we have here? Let's put these back so we can see. Okay, looks like the usual suspects. Tons of air razor. So Bumblebee and air razor are the peg warmers of this line so far. Yep, just as I suspected. We got the fallen, there's always one fallen. <laughs> We went to one Walmart, there was a Fallen, and we're at the other Walmart, here's another Fallen. Ah, uh, Transformers Legacy Evolution, Leader Class, who's this? Megatron, Transmetal Megatron, and who's this supposed to be? Skyquake, I love that name, that's such a cool name. But uh, here's more of the mainline stuff. That's the Rhinox for the mainline. I think I'm gonna stick to the Rhinox from the Studio Series. And there is a cup over here in a really beat up box by itself. Very lonely. There was only the Deluxe Studio Series Air Razor and Bumblebee, just like we saw last time. But what was really interesting and cool was that they had the main line for the um, Optimus Primal and Optimus Prime uh, Voyager series. Voyager class rather. And it was really cool to see them in person. But I think that I'm gonna be sticking to the studio series line. Keep things consistent and I don't need, you know, double of the same character in multiple lines. I think we're making decent time. It's uh, rush hour just started, but I think we can get to Richmond um, pretty quickly because all the cars are going the opposite direction on the freeway. So uh, we're gonna head to Richmond um walmart as well as the toys r us at lansdowne mall i'm at the richmond walmart now it's not that far from our next stop the toys r us at lansdowne mall we made some pretty good time because uh we we're going against the traffic so that's pretty good the toy section is within reach there we go is it in the same spot as everywhere else I guess it's in the other side because that was pretty pathetic. <laughs> Here we are, that's more like it. Okay, what do we got, what do we got? They keep things in the same places. Okay, we got the Thundercracker again, that's, which is pretty cool. Uh, more or less the same stuff, Air Razor and Bumblebee. It looks like they seem to be getting the same shipments. Is there anything else new? Okay, we got the Rhinox from the main line. Um, what's this? Cheetor, Flex Changers, Smash Changers, two in one changers. <gasps> Can't keep up with that. Oh, we got more of the other things. We got the Galvatron. So I guess it's the same way of Galvatron, the Ironhide. And is this a Fallen? Oh no, it's a Scourge. It's a Scourge. Check it out, it's a Scourge. Okay, leader cast scourge is in the house and is this a fallen yes it's a fallen every walmart we've encountered a fallen that is hilarious that is so funny but it's good to know that uh, this one's pretty well stocked so we got leader class scourge deluxe class bumblebee deluxe class um uh, air rays are all covered we just need to find uh voyager um uh, what is it? Uh, Voyager, um, Cheetor, and um, what's the other guy? Battle Trap. Whoa, they got Transformers posters. We're at the Richmond Toys R Us at Lansdowne Mall. Thank God it's close to the. Uh, Walmart in Richmond because uh, it's a lot of driving. All 
right, here's the transformer section. Whoa, look at how amazing it is. We got Buzzworthy Bumblebee, Heroic Maximal Dynamo. <laughs> Heroic Maximal Dinobot, rather. <laughs> is that all we got? We got this one. Is that it? That is it. Oh my God. This is a really, really quick stop. Literally, um, this is their selection. Oh, we got a studio series here. We got this one. <laughs> And uh, that's it. Lansdowne Toys R Us literally had nothing that I was looking for. That's pretty sad. That was a rather quick pit stop, which is fine. Because now we are off to the West Broadway Toys R Us in Vancouver, also known as the BOMAC uh, Toys R Us. And this one is going to be a bit of a drive. And it's, the thing is, is that it's not that far away. It's just that we're in rush hour traffic now. So... Uh, Hopefully we get there quickly. Bomac Toys R Us, haven't been here in a while. I had to pay for parking for this. All right, all right, let's do this. I paid $3.80 for parking. I hope we find something worthy of it. I really don't know my way around this Toys R Us because I haven't found anything yet. Is it here? It looks like it should be here. Ooh. No, that's Thanos. <laughs> uh, where is everything? Oh, here we are. Oh boy. Looks like the usual suspects. <laughs> we got lots of spike. Holy cow, it's nothing but spike. It's a lot of spikes. Anything from the movies? Just this. <laughs> and what else we have here? Earth Spark and Buzzworthy Bumblebee. We got a pterosaur, but not a terracon. And that's it. That was a really quick visit. Paid three dollars. I almost said three hundred. Paid three dollars and eighty cents for parking, and found nothing. Nothing at all. It feels like the Walmarts are better than the Toys R Us's. But at least we're getting some uh, good exercise from uh, this, uh, this stair climbing. We've been to one, two, three, four, five, six stops already. We got three more stops to go. We got two more Walmarts and one more Toys R Us. I have a feeling that we're gonna see Deluxe Studio Series, Air Razor, Bumblebee, and one Fallen, specifically one Fallen. Let's see if I'm right. This is my go-to Walmart. I've been here many times. Hopefully, we have as much good luck in here as I did before. Where are the Transformers? Oh, I think I see them right here. And looks like we got, this is it. Okay, we got the, oh, look at this. This is something different. Nightbird Flex Changer. At least we got a Nightbird. It looks like it's falling out of the, it's falling out of its package. Okay, what do we got here? More of these, these uh, Beast Lines, but we do have a Rhinox, another Rhinox, Optimus Prime. That's it, Optimus Prime. Voyager class in the main line, no Optimus Primal. But that is it. I was right. There's one air razor left. No Bumblebee though. But we got Diecast Bumblebee over here, Cliff Jumper, Barricade, and a bunch of Constructicons, as well as uh, the dump truck that Jazz turned into. And there you have it, one deluxe Studio Series Air Razor. So far, still no signs of Voyager class Cheetor and Battle Trap. We're off to our final destination, that is Metro Town. Over there, we'll uh, come across a Walmart and a Toys R Us, let's go. I am finally at Metro Town. We're gonna hit up two locations, Metro Town Walmart and the Toys R Us. Hopefully we'll find some Voyager classes. If not, it's all good. It was quite a journey. Let's go. Metro Town Toys Russ, here we go. 
Where is everything? They always move things around. Um, oh, here we are. That's it. That is it. Are you kidding me? All we got is Legacy. A massive Transformers Legacy Metro Titan. Metroplex? Perceptor? No, that's not Perceptor. That's like a black, black scepter. And... <laughs> Oh man, all these Buzzworthy Bumblebees, no studio series at all. This is it. This is all we got for Metro Town Toys R Us. Right behind me, that's it. Not a single Rise of the Beast items in stock. This is the very last stop, Metro Town Walmart. This is the end of the line. If we find nothing, we find nothing. I have a feeling to not be so optimistic. Let's see. And here we are. Air Razor, just as I thought. We got Nightbird. We got, and these guys. Oh, we got Megatron. At least we got that. Oh, and here's Bumblebee. What else we got? Anything else? There's another bumblebee hiding back there. Another bumblebee. This is all they got. Nothing too exciting. Is there anything else back here? Nope, it's all the same stuff. They do have a display here, but looks like all the Optimus Primals are gone. Because I think that's the hot one. Oh, there's some more stuff on the other side. Look at all the core class from the 86 series. We've got a tiny Dinobot here. Got some more of these guys. And uh, that's it. That's it for the toy hunt. Transformers Rise of the Beast. So out of everything that I listed, I only found three items. Deluxe Air Razor, Deluxe Bumblebee, and Leader Class, Scourge, no Voyagers. Now we're gonna go home. And I am back home. That was a that was a pretty long toy hunt session. Nine locations, five Walmarts, four Toys R Uses, and that took a Three hours and 45 minutes. But I think I made pretty good time. We were in Burnaby, Coquitlam, New West, Richmond, West, I mean, Vancouver West Side, East Vancouver, and then back to Burnaby. I think we made pretty good time for three hours and 45 minutes. Um, yeah, I, I kind of um, was able to skip the rush hour traffic because I took some of the really, um, I guess, less busier roads or the timing was just perfect. Anyways, let me show you what I got. Or rather, I should say, let me show you what I already got. <laughs> so I already got the Core Class Studio Series RC. I also got the Terracon Freezer, which is also a Core Class. I got Air Razor Deluxe Class. I got Bumblebee Deluxe Class. I got Battle Trap Voyager Class. This is great. I can't wait to open this one up. I got Cheetor. Vorger class, and you could already see on the left side, I got Scourge Leader class. Anyways, I just want to take you along for the ride on this uh, toy hunt. This was a pretty epic toy hunt in the sense that we went to so many locations. And I just wanted to take you along for the ride because, um, you know, it's it's fun. And I, I remember back in the days when I used to do them, a lot of people were saying that, uh, you know, it's so much fun. You miss them. And seeing a, a toy hunt happen right on YouTube is like you being there, right? So I just wanted to take you along for the ride and um, I remember how fun it was and I, I used to really enjoy going on them. And But um, you know, these days, Walmart's Toys R Us are not really good at stocking as you can see from the video or everything's just all gone. So it, it's not as fun as it used to be. Things are a lot more expensive. So, um, and you know, of course it takes a lot of time. There are more cars on the road since 2011. So there's a lot of driving. So uh, things are a lot different compared to before. And there, there was just way more stock available. Anyways, um, I'm happy to take you guys along for on this uh, this fun journey. I won't be doing, doing another toy hunt for a while. <laughs> 
but uh, I am waiting for some uh, some stuff uh, to come in, such as the the Rhinox, the Optimus Primal. I just uh, um, I just saw the the Studio Series Jazz. Anyways, uh, that's all I got to say in this episode. Thanks for watching. My name is Alex. I'll see you next time. Peace.